Well, let's talk a little bit. <laughs> no, absolutely. Well, I yeah. mean, that's you talk about the voice, mm -hmm. you talk about the source, the mother, the father, the child, mm -hmm. and we are in three dimensions of space and one of time, and those end up on stage. So you have every elementary bit of our existence in the opera or the play. What you're missing is the 95% dark matter, which is out there that none of us can figure out, but I'm sure that you'll do it. But what I want to talk, what I want to ask you about is long form and short form, because so often you chose, you choose a long yeah. form. I live in a culture that is shortening the form. Yeah. Rah, 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 rah. Yeah. Commercials tell stories in 12 seconds. Well, they told them in 30 seconds, then they told them in 15 seconds. Yeah. Now commercials tell stories in 12 seconds. Yeah. You know, I see television programs that will roll through five plots in 44 minutes and give me 18 climaxes. So I'm in a culture that's actually doing that to time, to form, to shorten the form, the sound bite, the political bite. You often choose a very long form. But there's nothing new in doing this. It's just that people are not used to it anymore. But Hamlet was six, seven hours when it was first performed. But again, like the organization of your company or like your Freedom Create, the world is going that way and you go this way. Yeah. But because the theater is there, because th th what people are doing right now is they're taking the theater and they're trying to apply the rules of cinema to it. There's real people on stage there. It's not just colored shadows, like in cinema, of an actor or of a human being. It's a real human being. What he will be doing is not the same thing as yesterday, even though he's rehearsed the same thing, it's the same line, there's something will be different. It's not the same audience. It's not the same energy. It's something that's unique, that only happens once, this ephemeral. And it's an event. It's a social event. The intervals are there for people to explain what's going on. You don't have that in film or in television first interval, I didn't get who he is. Is that the mother? Is that the f no, no, that's not the mother. It's the end, but she aren't. That's as important. Right. The, even the event of theater as how it is staged and performed and delivered. It is. That's theater. You, you, you. The children are at the babysitter. You pay the babysitter. You park your car somewhere. It's costing you money. You made reservations to a dinner. You walk in. So the first 10 minutes, your mind is, did I, did I forget? You're not there. And the actors have to t pull you out of that and say, no, 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 you're not here for, you're not going to be uh, bothered by the, uh, the the last subway or whatever because you're here for nine hours. So don't sit on that seat the same way you usually do. You're going to be there for nine hours. So people don't sit the same way. They don't listen to the same way. They don't breathe the same way when they know they're there for nine hours. And it becomes a marathon. And then it's a marathon that's shared with the marathon of the actors. Mm -hmm. So when we do a seven-hour show or a nine-hour show, the first, I, I don't even have to say that to the actors, the first thing they do, they applaud the audience. So because there's something that goes on, and there's a moment after mm -hmm. the, you know, you're in uh, this nine acts and lip sync. So at act five, the audience is already part of that community. The audience is with the actor. The audience is sharing something with the, the, the They had time to listen to the story. They have time to explain it to each other. It becomes an event. They eat together. Uh, they go out for a stroll. They have half an hour of break. They go out for a stroll and discuss it. They come back in. They, you know, there's this whole thing that happens. That's the event of theater. And it's not been treated as an event. For a long time, it's now it's been it's become a commodity, and they try to to, 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 to make it work with the rules of, of cinema and theater. And, and say working on developing lip sync. When at what point of the process do you go? This is three hours. No, this is six hours. No, this is nine hours. When does it the in form the become idea, apparent? I mean, there's a kind of a numerology thing that goes on in the early. And, 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 and I'm not talking about superstition or, or it's just that what what what. Uh, what numbers mean, what figures mean, and, and what they carry, and all that. that. That's often discussed early on, how many actors, how many, and suddenly there's a kind of a num numerical system that imposes itself, and, and we feel For example? That, well, when we did uh, Seven Streams of the River Ota, um, we were convinced that um, the, the, the number was 12. But it wasn't called the Seven Streams of the River Ota, then it was called Hiroshima. Right. And we did a first workshop in improv and all that, and it was 12 because I think it was, had to do with uh, the 12 gods of something, and anyway, we were into this whole kind of thing. And then 
after the first set of improvs and all that, we felt mm, it doesn't, 12 doesn't feel good. And then suddenly seven started to feel more appropriate for all sorts of reasons, seven days of the week, and we had all this. And we were, had seven actors by that time. And then at one point, it was struck to us that uh, you know the only thing that's left after the bombing of Hiroshima are the seven streams of the River Ota. And we thought, well, that's a nice metaphor, the seven directions of the River Ota. The Hiroshima is a river. And then it goes into seven different directions. And then that allows us to have a story that takes place in this part of the world, a story that takes place in that all of these things are kind of all connected. To and it's a mystical generation. number. It's a mystical, yeah. You know, it's not four. Of, if it were, if there were four streams in, absolutely. would you have chosen four streams if it was four? Not such a good number. Maybe it depends. It has to coincide with you know seven has to appear in many other things yeah, yeah. In order to impose itself, and then it comes with all sorts of other meanings. And there's a moment where you go, well, you know, there was just that figure was just waiting for us. That's Do you have an outer limit on how long a, a no. an event would be? The next pro no, the next project we're doing, the next big thing, we're, and it's not that we're trying to go longer. Than <laughs> it just happens that that's what it is. But it's going to be a, uh, definitely a twelve-hour thing. And, uh, it's based on card playing and the cards, and, and uh, started by by being divided into four stories because we have hearts, diamonds. Right, and right. So, so then it's like four stories, but then the number of actors, and then it became twelve. Suddenly, twelve popped up. So it's probably it's probably going to be four nights over four nights. Three-hour shows or four nights. Me, I enjoy going to the seven-hour shows. Mm -hmm. First, because I want to go on the journey. But second, when I walk in the theater, I want to say goodbye to the world yeah. for a long time, mm -hmm. so I can go. Mm -hmm. And if I go to, you know, shows now are ninety minutes and an hour and whatever, it's like, well, I'll drop into the theater and I'll see a show, then I'll go back, mm -hmm. and I never get that chance to disappear inside yeah. the experience. So it's um. And again, ironically, you've chosen to go the opposite way that most of the world is going. Because people want, to, and certainly in this, in this day and age, people want to have that s a sense of community, and you can only create that uh, by you have, you have to take the audience out of its an anonymity. I'm using difficult words for me to say. English. Anonymity. You're very good. And uh, you know, you're, we live in an anonymous environment. I mean, in today's Toronto, if I have a condo in one of these big glass houses, chances are I'm not even in touch with my neighbors, or, you know, so I'm, me, myself, and I, or my little family, or my little nuclear family, and I, I live in my little condo, and it's very practical, it's only a five minute walk to the gym, and then a ten minute walk to my, so it's very, very, so more than ever, I need a sense of community, I need, and if the theater can provide that, mm -hmm. it provides that by, you know, inviting me for a full day to be part of a community, an artistic community, we sit there and we we commune. We don't communicate. We it's communion. Now I want to talk about that again because community and collaboration are linked. And you are of, from everything I've heard. I've never worked for you. Always like to, but you work in a very collaborative way. Yeah. That you listen a lot to what people say, to yeah. what the actors say, to what the writer says, what the designer mm -hmm. says. How did you come to that collaborative? Uh, sense well, of how to create. I'm a lousy director. <laughs> no, really, I mean, I'm a lousy director. I, mean, I, I don't take pride or I don't take, it doesn't make me high or I don't take, provide me any joy to be the leader, be the guy, I'll take you and I will mold you and I will sculpt you and I will make you act. <laughs> I hate these guys. <laughs> Why would I want to do yeah. that, you know? And, and so there's this thing that's left over from theater schools where actors love to be directed. They love to be yeah. told and guided. And, and I To find the master, absolutely. right? Absolutely. We're all looking for the God, the voice absolutely. outside, who absolutely. was God and who will tell us how to lead our lives. And I say no. So once again, the world goes this way and you go that way. No, not, I'm not doing that to go <laughs> country. It's just that I find people come in and they know much more about the part than I do. Why should I direct them? Of course, I could t give them my input and my feedback. That's wait a minute, sure. wait a minute. I want to I want to make clear. Wait a minute. I'm talking to Robert Lepage and yeah. he just said, why should, Robert Lepage said, why should he direct someone? He, he has produced and created some incredible creations. I would like to be directed by someone who has created these amazing yeah, creations. So you're going to ask for me. I mean, if we do a show together, and I don't know what what part have you played? What big thing that you've played? That's a big thing that, that you'd like that you'd like to that you really know well. Say Creon in Antigone because I'm doing that right now. Okay, so you're doing that. Chances are you know about that character a hundred times more than I do. Even if I start reading and doing research on the character, 
you probably know a hundred times more. So who am I to come and tell you, no, 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 no. This is what I want to say, so you do that. It's of no interest. If you have all this wealth of knowledge about the character, I will listen to you. I'll give you feedback. I'll react to it. I'll confirm stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll discuss it. I'll negotiate stuff with you. But I'm not going to impose to you a vision. Mm -hmm. if your vision is more informed. So it has to be a collaborative thing. You have to give me stuff and, and help me do my staging. Help me make you shine in a, in a production that shines. So you don't like actors who are lazy, who don't They're walk in lazy. with anything. They're not lazy. There's this insecure, there's this thing. I worked in Germany once. It was a, a nightmare of my life. I worked in Munich at the, the uh, Bayerisch Stadt Schauspieler. <laughs> and they're, I mean, they're great people. I love them. It's just that in the German theater system, actors want you to take them, uh, beat them up, and you're going to act. I'm not like that. I don't scream. Or if I scream, I don't scream at <laughs> actors. But I mean, I, I, you know, in day one of rehearsal, and we were rehearsing in the actual theater, you know, and I had an assistant. And uh, the assistants, after the first morning, said, nothing's going to happen. You, you have to scream. You have to make things happen. Nothing's going to happen. You know, the technician, technician there is not going to move the, uh, the curtain or the, the proscenium curtain if you don't bark at him. He said, well, I don't bark. He said, oh, then, then I'll be your barker. Oh, scheiße, cough! And then it would start these big things. And it was complete hell. <laughs> and I spent a full month and a half in this hell of people screaming at each other, <laughs> hitting each other on stage. Uh, to, and because they believe that you know uh, good acting comes out of all that tension, and my theory that uh, after the Second World War, uh, German people are certainly not, certainly not going to ask all their, their politicians to be strong leaders, right? So, but everybody needs a leader. So they ask of teachers and directors and anybody who is in a directorial position uh -huh. to lead. And I'm just not a leader. I'm Wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a good Boy Scout captain. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm somebody who's there, <laughs> and gotta... I say, and I throw stuff at people. I say, okay, let's discuss this, or let's, how about this? And then people go, ah, I disagree, and people have a lot of authority over me on a lot of stuff. And say, I don't want to do that. Well, don't do it. And we get into fights, and don't do it. Don't do what you're... And eventually, something comes out, and it's not something that I decided or they decided. It's something that came out of this collaboration, and often it's the right thing. How do you learn to listen? Well, you have to be interested in, in, in other people, <laughs> then you will listen. If you're not, if you're only interested in yourself, if you're only ambitious, and if you only want to have a career, and if you only think you're, you're the one who is the best, then you're this one, of course. You're not interested in listening to anybody else. But when you don't have that, I don't think I have that, or at least. Not, not often. So, I mean, I'm interested. I mean, anyways, you go and get the most interesting people in the world. You, I had this great yeah, luxury yeah, where I could, yeah. I traveled the world and then I'd bump into this amazing actress who's just the best, young, beautiful, intelligent, creative person. And she's from Valencia and it's going to cost me a bundle to have her travel and live with me in Quebec City for a month and a half, improv and doing stuff and all of that. I'm not going to control her. I've invited this jewel to come and shine and inform me and, and be generous with me and with her emotions and her ideas and her talent and her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you have to make a, a playground for that to happen. Mm -hmm. And of course, she's going to be confronted to this German guy who comes in and he's very intellectual, but he's a brilliant actor. Mm -hmm. And he comes with a completely different history and he comes from another tradition and you put them together and they don't even speak English or French. He speaks German, a bit of English. She only speaks... Uh, Spanish, what do right, you do? Right. And that is interesting. That's interesting. You work from that, and eventually something comes out that nobody else does. And, and as you say, if, if it doesn't co come to fruition right mm -hmm. there, like a gallery, it can, it the painting will, can sit there and it will come will, to somewhere. You just put it on the side for a while, or you just do it, and you just, you do it, and you're wrong. And you do it wrong, and people say, I love your show, but I hated this tableau. Well, sorry, it's just not ready. It just didn't come to fruition. And then you draw and you draw, and it becomes one day something happens, and you have it in, in your. In, right. it, it strikes a. Because I trust yeah. the process. I trust the process. I'm not saying that it's always 
yep. the same amount of time it takes. Sometimes it's right yeah. on the first day, and sometimes it takes years of touring before it, it even has any kind of potential.